Today I'll be reviewing a set of Focal 906 speakers. This is my first set of speakers from Focal, so I was extremely excited to get them. I have lusted after a pair of Focal speakers for many years, but never pulled the trigger until now. Have you ever heard the expression, never meet your heroes? This expression means that the people you see and admire may disappoint you by not living up to your expectations when you encounter them in real life. Well, that was my experience with the 906. But it isn't all bad, and here's why. I'm just going to come out and say it. The main sticking point that I can't get over with these speakers is the price. At $2,198 per pair, these speakers don't resemble the same construction quality and crossover components that other brands offer at this price point. If you have already seen my look inside video of these speakers, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I go into more detail about the crossover components, construction quality, and driver quality in my look inside videos. So if you're interested in seeing a deep dive into how these speakers are constructed, then you might want to check that video out. To give you an example, these speakers cost $2,200 a pair, and Focal is offering them with fake vinyl wood finishes. If you want your Aria 906s finished in a beautiful wood veneer, then you'll have to open up your wallet even more. Come on Focal, at $2,200 a pair, the only option should be a wood veneer cabinet. If Focal had priced these speakers accordingly from the get-go, which I think is in that sub $1,000 price range, then I'd be singing a much, much different tune. So please, before you start attacking me in the comments, just understand my main gripe is with the pricing of the speakers and what they have to offer from a quality standpoint versus other brands that are in this same price point. I'll touch on more of this later in the review, so let's get started. There's no question that these speakers are absolutely gorgeous to look at, so if you have a wife that values looks over sound quality, then the Focal Aria 906 is probably a speaker that she'll like very much. Some of these detailed touches that Focal has implemented that I really like are the glass top with the Focal name etched in it. That small detail gives this speaker a very classy look and also reminds me of the touches that are on the Sonus Faber Venere line. Another design element that I really like is how Focal wrapped the front and back of the speaker cabinet in a leather-like material. I'm sure Focal used some sort of vinyl as the material for the front and back of the cabinet but it still gives the speaker a more upscale and classy look. Unfortunately, this is where my praises end in this category. The construction quality isn't anything to write home about for a speaker costing $2,200 a pair. The front baffle is only 3 quarters of an inch thick. To put that in perspective, I recently reviewed a set of KEF Q350s which have an MSRP of $799 and the front baffle on those speakers is over 56% thicker at 1.34 inches and it's $1,401 cheaper than the Focals. The Focals do have slightly thicker sides and rear cabinet walls than the Kefs. The Focals are 0.625 inches thick versus 0.59 inches thick. So I guess it's nice to see where some of that additional $1,401 is going when compared to the construction of the KEF speakers. Another painfully obvious cost cutting measure from Focal is the terminal plate that is installed in the Aria 906. This terminal plate is completely made of thin wall plastic and snaps into place on the back of the cabinet. Yep, you heard me right. The terminal plate snaps into place. At $2,200 a pair, you don't even get a set of terminal plates that screw into the back of the cabinet. And yes, there are ferromagnetic parts being used in the signal path of the terminal plate. I honestly can't think of another speaker in this price range that uses a snap-in terminal plate. Another thing that really bugs me about the Focal Aria 906 is this trim ring and this beautiful waveguide. Sure, they look great, but guess what? They're held in by double-sided tape. Yep. Tape is what's holding those two pieces on. Come on, Focal. That's uncalled for for a set of speakers that cost $2,200 a pair.
So what does Focal include in the box for your $2,200? You get a pair of Focal Aria 906 speakers. Mine were each individually wrapped in some nice cloth bags to protect them from getting damaged during shipping. You'll also receive an owner's manual as well as another booklet talking about Focal's different products and speaker line and basically telling you how great their products are. A pair of magnetic grills and the original box and packaging. Focal uses styrofoam to protect the speakers during shipping and the cardboard box is pretty heavy duty so it should survive a couple of trips through your favorite carrier. But the styrofoam probably won't. I would have liked to have seen polyethylene packaging instead of styrofoam at this price point. Now for the part that everyone has been waiting for. How good do these speakers sound? I'm going to break the sound quality review up into two parts. Sound quality during movies and sound quality during music. First let me discuss how the Focal Aria 906 sounds to me during movies. Remember this is my personal opinion on them and we all know how subjective this hobby can be. What may sound good to me may not sound so good to you. So please don't let me influence your decision on these speakers too much. There are plenty of dealers out there who offer free in-home trials so you can make your own decision for yourself. Now for the review. Like I said before, at $2,200 a pair, I think there are much, much better options out there. But at the $998 that I paid for them, I think they offer pretty decent value for money. I first set up the speakers in my living room, which has an open floor plan design. This room can be challenging for bookshelf speakers to fill this room with adequate sound and bass because the kitchen, dining room, and living room are all basically in one big room. My living room system consists of Rotel separates, which include a Rotel 1580 processor and a Rotel RMB 1575 Class D amplifier. The subwoofer I'll be using is a modified JBL subwoofer, which has a Creative Sound Solutions SDX10 driver in it. This is a sealed subwoofer design, and I think they blend perfectly with these bookshelf speakers. For my movie listening sessions, I'll be configuring the processor for a 2.1 speaker configuration. This means the center channel that you see in the video is not playing. I really want to see how the Focal Arias do without a center channel for this test. The first movie I put in is War of the Worlds, which has some really good action scenes that I love to test speakers with. What surprised me most about the Aria 906 is its off-axis response. It seemed no matter where I sat, these speakers sounded just as good as if you were right in front of them. While the Aria 906 had nowhere near the sound stage, depth perception, and mid-bass kick that my Sonus Faber Venere S speakers possess, they sure did a great job of filling this big room with sound for being a quarter of the size. I think a major factor in their performance in a room of this size is matching them with a quality subwoofer. Having a subwoofer is a must when watching movies with any set of bookshelf speakers, but when you get that marriage right between your bookshelf speakers and subwoofer, boy, they sure can sound much larger than they are. Throughout the movie, the voices were crystal clear and defined. The effects from explosions and rubble moving around are detailed and realistic. There was a nice layering effect taking place that made it sound like the rubble was right in the room with you and sliding down your AV cabinet, giving you an added sense of realism that not many speakers can pull off in that 1000 and under price range. In my opinion, the tonality of these speakers can be a little bit on the bright side at times, but not to the point of fatiguing. I enjoyed my time with the Aria 906 most during movies and thought they performed well in a variety of room sizes, large or small as long as a quality subwoofer is paired with them. This purchase all started when I wanted to upgrade the speakers in my bedroom system from Dayton Audio T652s to something more exotic. So like any consumer, I got online and started reading reviews. I headed down to the Kef Q350 and the Focal Aria 906. Since Amazon has such a great return policy, I decided to order both and will return the pair that I didn't care for. The Kef Q350s were on sale for $499 during the making of this video, and the Focals are on sale right now for $998. Do the Focals offer double the performance for double the price? Let's find out. The first thing I did was test both pairs of speakers in all three of my listening rooms. My main listening room consists of Macintosh equipment, my living room has Rotel equipment, and then my bedroom system is just a simple AVR made by Harman Kardon. I played a variety of genres from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. 
I'm a big Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Clapton, Dire Straits, and just about any other 80s hairband you can think of fan. I would consider my bedroom in terms of room size somewhat on the small side. The size of my bedroom is 13 feet by 17 feet and has no type of room treatment at all. I first set up the speakers in a 2.0 configuration without a sub to see if the Focals would provide adequate bass in this environment. And to my surprise, they did. Although the bass wasn't thunderous by any means, I felt it was adequate and on par with the Kef Q350s in the bass department. If you plan on using these speakers in a room size bigger than 13 feet by 17 feet, then I would highly recommend that you pair a subwoofer with them. Both the Focal and Kefs exhibited great transient response and detailed mids. I felt the Focals had a tiny bit better detailed mids than the Kefs, but the Kefs also had a bit more bass. The mid bass driver in the Aria 906 is really good, but it's kneecapped by the poor crossover components. Both the mid bass driver and the Focal and Kef contain the key ingredient that make it a great sounding driver with good transient response, and that's low inductance. On my bench, the Aria 906's mid bass driver had an inductance value of 0.3215 millihenries. The Kef's also measured really well, and its mid bass driver had an inductance value of 0.4689 millihenries. After listening to a variety of music on both speakers, I felt the glaring difference between these two speakers is in their tweeter design. To me, the Focal tweeter is a bit more on the bright side, whereas the Kef's tweeter felt a bit more neutral. To put it another way, I felt that on some of the tracks that I was listening to, it felt like the Focal's tweeter would completely take over the show and pretty much overtake the superb detail that the mid bass driver was producing. This brightness was especially noticeable during percussion instruments. Besides this brightness, the tweeter for the most part delivered smooth highs, but was a bit more forward than I like. As an audiophile, this really boils down to what you, the listener, prefer out of your speakers. This doesn't necessarily mean the speakers are bad, it just means that I prefer speakers that are a bit more neutral in this category, which the Focals are clearly not. So for me, I felt the Kefs at half the price would be the better choice. Before I close out this review, I thought it would be cool to do a sound comparison between the Focal Aria 906 and the Kef Q350s. I'm down here in my main listening room with my Macintosh equipment, and I just hooked up my uh, speaker comparison tool that I just got off of Amazon. It allows me to quickly compare the two speakers just by a flip of a switch without having to turn everything off and then reconnect them. So the configuration that I have set up for these speakers is it's in a 2.0 setup. The subwoofer is not hooked up. And what I'm trying to uh, illustrate here for you guys is I'm hoping that some of the brightness on the Focals will kind of come through on camera and you guys listen to, listen to this demo. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but I'm gonna give it a try. And uh, you know, after you guys listen to the two speakers, let me know what you think by commenting down below. So let's get started.
I don't know how well the demo I did will come out for you, but hopefully it will give you an idea of how these two speakers will sound. If you can purchase the Focal Aria 906 speakers in that low 1000 per pair mark, then I think they offer pretty decent value for money. There is no question that these speakers look great in just about any decor, and the build quality is in line with other speakers in that 1000 and under price point. I enjoyed my time most with the Aria 906 during my movie watching sessions, and thought they performed really well during these tests. The voices from actors and actresses were crystal clear and realistic, and the layering effect that these speakers provide during action scenes only enhances the movie going experience even more. For music, the bass extension from the Aria 906 was pretty good for a 6.5 inch driver and was on par with the CAF Q350s. I felt the CAFs had just a tad more bass, but I also felt the Focal's mid-range driver was just a tiny bit more defined and detailed. Focal tuned the port on these speakers to around 52Hz, and the CAFs port is tuned to around 47Hz, so it makes sense that the bass extension on the Q350s was a tad more pronounced. The tweeter on the Aria 906 is smooth, but is a bit forward for my liking, especially during my music listening sessions. I felt that some of the tracks sounded a bit bright for my liking, and in some cases the tweeter was overpowering the nice mid-range driver. Although the Focals weren't for me, if you like a speaker that is a bit forward in the upper ranges, then I think you will enjoy the Aria 906, especially at the current sale price of $998. And that's my review of the Focal Aria 906. Hopefully this review will give you an idea of what to expect from these speakers. So long and happy listening.